Yeah, a couple seconds and she comes off. So if you've ever had to disrobe in front of the TSA before boarding, it's definitely nice to be able to do this. Yeah, a couple seconds and she comes off due to that little kind of ingenious ratcheting design that the core belts have. Now I've owned a couple of core belts over the past couple of years, both the dress belts and kind of like that EDC belt. This garrison belt is kind of the next evolution. It's an uh, inch and three quarters wide and it's really meant to be kind of an ED seal, but also like an intermediate range belt. For those of you that are gonna go out, maybe do a little bit of training, but you still want something that you can just get around with wearing from day to day. So a person who's gonna go from say, carrying something in the waistband like this 45 MOS right here from Glock, or if you want to have the ability to go ahead and strap on a Safariland ALS holster onto that belt, and have the rigidity and ability to actually maintain that gear on there and not have it bend or fall over or fall apart. Of course, Essentials did sponsor this video as well as send this out for testing. Let's go ahead and take a good look at this up close, talk about how this works, how to actually fit it for those of us out there that don't read directions. I'm gonna walk you through that over here so you get it right the first time. Because remember, measure twice, cut once because you can't add material, but you can always take more away. All right, I'm gonna walk you through the core essentials belt. And what you're gonna get with this is instructions. It would behoove you to read them or at least watch the video on how to fit it. You're gonna get a nice little coat hanger that ratchets in that ratcheting belt like that. So you can hang your belts up and save some room. Of course, your actual buckle, they have multiple designs of buckles and colors and coatings. Pick whichever one you want. You're gonna get your little retention uh, clasp right there, which we'll put aside for now. And then you're gonna get a couple of extra screws and your actual Allen head here, which you will see why in just a second. So we're gonna take that out and put our extra screws off to the side. Now, according to the instructions in here, you need to figure out what your waist size and depending on what you wanna do with this belt, you need to add either four or six inches. So if you're just gonna wear this as a belt, you add four inches to your waist size. That gives you some additional ratchet material in here. If you're gonna carry appendix in the waistband, you need to add six inches and it gives room for that holster. So this is the new Garrison gun belt. It's 1.7 inches wide right here on that material. And it has their patented track lock system, which is a proprietary system in here that gives you, they say like 800% more um, actual adjustment and then a normal belt that just has the hole every inch or something like that. And this is a proprietary blended of material in there. So this belt is supposed to hold 10 pounds of gear before it starts to fold over or kind of deform on you at all. And then the material itself is rated up to 800 pounds. So like I said, what you're gonna do is figure out your waist size on the marks that are set all the way through there. And depending on how you're gonna wear it, you're gonna add either that four or six inches. Now, when you go to cut this, it's better to cut long than it is to cut short because you can always take away material, but you can't add it, right? So I know that my waist size is about 37 inches, a little bit less than 38. So I'm gonna go right at the 38 mark and I'm gonna cut straight through that 38 line as straight as possible because that's gonna come into play later. And this is extremely thick stuff, so you're gonna need either a very sharp utility knife or an extremely good set of scissors that are meant for, you know, seamstresses or something like that. So once that's cut, you go ahead and discard your additional material, and we'll get to work on putting this together. Now, always make sure you're cutting the right end. This is the end that you want to save, and the end that looks open like that is the one you're going to cut. So what they've done here is they've also kind of redesigned how this goes in here. It's a lot deeper than it used to be. What you're gonna do is flip that up. You'll go ahead and unscrew these screws slightly. 
enough that you're going to be able to get this in here. And you'll be able to see them in there. So once it's flat, you're going to go ahead, press this in here as far forward as you can. Put a lot of pressure forward on that into that buckle while closing the clasp like so. You'll see it'll kick back a little bit on you. So really force it forward and then lock it in. And at this point, you're going to go ahead and tighten down your tension screws until they bottom out. So once that is set up and those are bottomed out like that, at this point, you can go ahead, get this thing and make sure that it locks in through that and you are good to go ahead and try on your new Garrison gun belt. That's a pretty ingenious little design. Like I said, I've had a couple of core belts over the past couple of years. Specifically, the dress belt is the one I probably wear the most because I seem to have to dress up a lot lately. Now that ratcheting design, you can get any kind of buckle you want for it. Where this thing kind of does shine is for those that don't necessarily want to spend the money or have the money to buy like a big tactical belt or something like that. But you can use this, say you want to go out and tend some basic training with your pistol or something like that. You can wear this, put a Safari Land holster like this ALS one here, and you can go to work out there and have a belt that's rigid enough to get you through that training course. And for those of you that just EDC and carry something like this LAS concealment holster right here, that ratchet design gives you the infinite adjustment you may need, especially after one of those big cheeseburger meals that we're all fans of. You definitely need to make sure that you cut this right, like we talked about up close. You can use this both in the waistband and have this on the outside. So it does give you plenty of rigidity to make those draws from a retention holster like I have here. And you can see that it does fit quite well. If you are going to wear this in the appendix, you need to rotate that buckle a little bit off to the left or to the right or all the way over. That's just because if you're wearing something in the appendix, you don't want that belt buckle to press out too far. So whether you are looking for a dress belt, a kind of EDC belt, or now a full on gun belt that you can use out there and have some fun with, check out Core Essentials. They were cool enough also to give a 10% off coupon code. It's gonna be TC10, all capital, so you get that right, and that'll get you 10% off your entire Core Essentials purchase, because they've got some really other cool stuff coming out like sunglasses, and some other things you may be interested in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Get out there and have some fun. Check out coreessentials.com and definitely check out tacticalconsiderations.com as well. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Turn those bell notification icons on and I will see you guys on the next one.